53 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. Starring the most beautiful girls in the world. Con Arlene Francis y John Daly, maestro de ceremonias Jim Rayburn, orquesta Jack Sonnet. With host and hostess Arlene Francis and John Daly, master of ceremonies Gene Rayburn, vocalist Tony Mitchell and Jack Sonnet's orchestra. Presented by the makers of Mill, who bring you a brand new kind of home permanent for curls that start soft and stay lively. And here is your host of the 1963 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant, John Daly. Good evening. Tonight will be part of an exciting event, the finals of the 12th annual Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. For the past seven days, we've heard the language of beauty spoken in a dozen tongues as the hour of decision draws closer here in Miami Beach. And as you can see, by the huge audience in Convention Hall, the pageant has drawn thousands of visitors, as well as newsmen and press photographers from everywhere in the free world. More important, it has brought beauty delegates from five countries, representatives of 51 foreign nations, flying to the United States, on the biggest adventure of their young lives. Their first glimpse of America are an international airport and, as usual, a swarm of photographers. Some delegates arrive in national costumes that they'll be wearing in competition tonight. Many are away from their homes for the first time. They've never flown before. Now they face the excitement of a strange language and strange places, all leading up to tonight's final competition for the crown of Miss Universe, the most beautiful girl in the world. With the final decision less than 90 minutes away, the question everyone is asking here in Convention Hall is, who will be selected as Miss Universe of 1963? For an interim report, backstage now, and my lovely colleague, Arlene Prentz. Arlene? Thank you, John. Well, the final issue here is still very much in doubt, of course, but there is no doubt about one thing. Tonight's finalists are worthy contenders for the title of the most beautiful girl in the world. After months of worldwide competition, the field has narrowed to 15 finalists. And tonight, the beauty, poise, and personality of one of them will win the crown. We'll meet the finalists in a moment, and you will have an opportunity to choose your own favorite. And there is the fanfare. Let's switch to Jean Rayburn out on the stage. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 15 finalists. Here they are, the delegates from Argentina, from Austria, from Brazil, from Colombia, from Denmark, from Finland, from France, from Germany, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Korea, the Philippines, Republic of South Africa, and the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely 15 finalists. Well, we have now seen the girls who have triumphed in the preliminaries. In the finals tonight, they are being judged for beauty of face, beauty of figure, and poison personality. That is quite a gamut of virtues, John. And I must say, they are as fair a field as I have ever seen. They are indeed, Arlene. The finalists are beautiful, and so are all the Miss Universe delegates. Couldn't be otherwise, for each international representative first was chosen Queen of Beauty in her native land. Our own national delegate, Miss United States, received her crown on this very stage Wednesday night this week. And here on videotape are the tense final moments as the United States delegate was selected. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the new Miss United States of America is Miss Illinois. She has the symbols of her office, her scepter, 
and her crown and that beautiful stole, and I know you want to meet her. Here she is, the Miss United States of America, the delegate from Illinois. And so Marit Ozes, a beautiful 19-year-old Latvian-born carpenter's daughter from the state of Illinois, was selected to represent the United States in the Miss Universe beauty pageant. Having competed successfully in the preliminaries, Miss Ozes is now one of the 15 international beauties hoping to capture the title of Miss Universe. We'll see how she does in the competition tonight. Backstage right now, 78 delegates are taking their places for the International Parade of Beauty. How's it going back there, Arlene? Oh, it is busy and bustling and lots of fun. And those sounds that you hear are sounds of excitement in 30 languages. <laughs> and how do you like my little beauty here from Persia, huh? Oh, Horshbe Halak Ba'in Zorhoi, hmm? In Persian Kitty, that means most of us would give our right arms to have hair this tall. And this beauty is Diane Zabicki, Miss Connecticut of 1962. Hi, and uh, uh, Diane is getting a surprising new kind of home permanent. All finished. Yes, but we just gave Diane a new kind of little home permanent. She doesn't even know herself about one special ingredient in it. Thank you very much. It's milk. It's good for you, and it is beautiful for your hair. Milk. M-I-L-K. In a home permanent? Oh, no. Only in this home permanent. New Milk Wave Lilt. But why milk? Ah, that is a very good question. Let me show you. When you mix milk with this special Lilt waving powder like this, you get a different waving lotion. Different because it gives you a soft, natural-looking wave that is so right for today's hairstyles. Like this one. You remember Gladys Zender, of course, Miss Universe of Hello. 1958. Hello, Gladys. When did you get your milk wave, Gladys? Yes, yesterday. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> that is milk wave lilt. Your curls start soft and they stay light. Now, before the show is over, Diane will have her hair combed out so that we can see how a milk wave lo looks on the very first day. Isn't this the one home permanent you really have to try? New milk wave lilt for curls that start soft and stay lively. <laughs> 